Today we will learn about a basic topic in developmental biology, the anterior-posterior axis formation in Drosophila. This is an adult fruit fly that is Drosophila melanogaster, in which the anterior to the posterior axis is shown. The anterior-posterior axis is specified during oogenesis. The oocyte moves into the posterior region of the egg chamber, while nurse cells fill the anterior portion. Now, coming to the oocyte region, let's zooming into the posterior part. The oocyte nucleus moves toward the terminal follicle cells and synthesizes gherkin proteins. The terminal follicle cells express torpedo, the receptor for gherkin. When gherkin binds to torpedo, the terminal follicle cells differentiate into posterior follicle cells and synthesize a molecule that activates protein kinase I in the egg. Protein kinase orients the microtubules such that the growing plus ends are at the posterior. Bicoid mRNA binds to dynine, a minus directed motor protein associated with the non growing end of microtubules. Dynine moves the bicoid mRNA to the anterior end of the egg. The Oscar mRNA becomes complex to Kinson 1, a plus directed motor protein that moves it toward the growing end of the microtubules at the posterior region, where Oscar protein can bind nanos mRNA. The nucleus, with its associated gherkin proteins migrates along the microtubules to the dorsal anterior region of the oocyte and induces the adjacent follicle cells to become the dorsal follicle cells. And thereby finally the axis formation is completed. <laughs>